Today we're going to be looking at the DPX HEST. And DP stands for Dangerous Places. The HEST stands for Hostile Environment Survival Tool. And this was a collaboration between SE Knives and Robert Young Pelton, who is a world-renowned adventurer, journalist, book writer that goes to some of the most dangerous places in the world. In fact, right here on the handle is Mr. Dangerous Place himself. Now, Essie Knives is formerly the Rat Cutlery, still owned by the same guys that first started. In fact, have Randall's Adventures, and they do all kind of survival training all over the world, especially down in Central and South America. But this was a collaboration with some of Essie's original blade design, but just with Robert Pelton's added features, some of the things that he noticed that were needed in a really hostile environment situation. And so we're going to take a look at this really unique fixed handled blade. It also comes in a, a, a folder. But one thing that I want to note right off the bat is Essie and Robert Young Pelton uh, have parted ways. In fact, uh, Pelton has another knife company making his knives for about double the price. So uh, these, when they're gone, they're going to be gone for good. So you can still find them here and there, but uh, Tim from Tactical Defender happened to have a collection of these, and these are on sale right now. And uh, so we're going to do a review on this knife and take a look at all the great features. And I'll tell you what, go to tacticaldefender.com and uh, check them out. The knife itself is made from 1095 carbon steel. It is full tang. One of the things about carbon steel is you need to maintain it. There needs to be some lubrication, especially around the edge and anywhere there is etching. You just want to keep, it, keep track of it. But the one thing about carbon steel is that it keeps an edge. And one of the big things about Essie knives is it will maintain an edge even after massive cutting. And uh, you can definitely shave with this knife. So these really hold a super sharp edge with a lot of abuse. In fact, these have a 100% lifetime guarantee against abuse and defects. It doesn't matter. So they really stand behind their products. The full length of the knife is seven and five eighths inches long. It weighs four and a half ounces, the knife itself. The blade is three and a quarter inches and it has these really nice Micarta handles. I think Micarta really gives it a nice classic feel to it and it does, it is textured. Here we have Robert Young Pelton's initials here and his logo, Mr. DP, Mr. Dangerous Places. And I mentioned this before, but as you can see, it is a skull and a baseball cap. So, uh, of course, made here in the USA by Essie, right here. And um, then we have the Hest. We have DPX symbol, and this is the company that uh, Robert Pelton has. Uh, you know, these knives right now, I saw them listed for about $200. I think they're made by Lion Steel out of Italy, and um, you know, just a real high dollar knife. But to be honest with you, Essie makes just an incredible knife. I just don't see the the extra value in that double the price. They do have these brass screws, and and I've heard others say that they didn't really like the brass. They would rather have been black. Let me show you. There is a small compartment. This is a skeletonized handle, by the way. But you use this washer to remove the screws. Now it is a small compartment and but you can keep certain things in here for your survival kit and uh, whether it be a small button compass or fishing line or even a little money. Of course it has these aluminum fixtures here. Uh, then there are plastic inserts right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this all the way off so you can get a good look at it. But as you can tell there is a small little area there that you can stow away some survival tools or items. Here it is in a skeletonized version. You can wrap this with paracord if you want. Also there are holes here for lashing. You can also put uh, a uh, paracord here for a grab handle for a lanyard. Here we have a bottle opener. This is a wire cutter and it's a little difficult but once you get the hang of it you can use this to cut wire. This is a nice little pry bar 
and it keeps your blade protected from putting a tip into the here into your uh, whatever you're trying to pry and you can use this and use some kind of blunt object to pry uh, it also helps with your handle it keeps your knife from slipping and of course with it rounded here on the tang on the grip it gives you a good purchase there is some solid jimping right here if you need to use it in this manner as well the thickness of the spine is uh, is really nice and it's 0.178 inches thick so for this size knife it does have a very nice spine uh, you can see where the ground comes down it's half ground with the uh, coming off the top here it has a good nice belly on it this is excellent for cutting you can really remove a lot of material with this shaped blade. Now the Hest comes with this little mini kit. And of course it does come with this Kydex sheath, which is really high quality with a paracord tie on it, a uh, cord lock. We do have these molly locks here that actually attach to the sheath itself. Of course you can wear this sheath as a neck knife, uh, but it is somewhat large for that. But it still could be definitely used for that. This is really a nice bonus to me, and, and this came with my um, Essie Azula as well. But it's the, the Randall Adventure Training card, and um, it's from Essie. And then it, does, it just talks about, it has an acronym for survival, has a lot of different uh, things that go down the list, but also some survival terms and just a few things that you need to know. This is great just to keep on your person or in your bug out bag at all times. So, and just, uh, it's a hard card as well. It also comes with this excellent uh, instruction sheet that gives you a lot of the details of the knife with instructions, with the molly locks and how they attach. And uh, this is just also a nice bonus. There are screws with rubber washers that also go with the, um, the molly locks. This is very easy to attach as well. Now there are four tension screws to the sheath. You can tighten this down as far as the molly locks go. You can actually attach this where it'll hang vertically or horizontally in any direction. So this is a very versatile. There are rubber washers as well to really give this a secure fit and to keep it in place. This in itself, the Molly Lock kit, is really a nice feature for this knife. And of course you can take the paracord and tie it through your holes and a lot of other, you can even use this as lashings to uh, put this on whatever you want to. I want to say thanks to Tim at Tactical Defender for supplying this knife. He does give a 10% discount by using Suit00 in the coupon code, so that really helps even more with the price. These run uh, $94.99 uh, on his website, and then you take 10% off. So just a, uh, an excellent deal for this kind of knife, and one that once they're gone, they're gone for good. I've had this knife for about a month and I've been using it for different tasks and it is just an incredible knife. I highly recommend it. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Yep, still just flailing that hair away. Look at that. But one of the things I really want to bring your attention to is the airplane that's flying above and making all that flipping racket. And that's Essie, which is formerly Rat Cutlery, still owned by the, the Rat people the rat people. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. That's too far away.